Okay, today is October 23rd, 2017, and right now at 10:30 uh, p.m., we have a temperature of 89 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. The uh, relative humidity is 17 percent. Dew point is 38 degrees, and the barometer is reading 30.13, which is down slightly. This morning we had 30.15 inches on the barometer, and yesterday, Sunday. Uh, we had 30.16. All right, so we have a huge area of high pressure, which has been installed by these terrorists controlling our weather, right in this area, and that has rerouted the uh, jet stream flow into Canada. Now, if you watch the uh, video from just a couple of days ago, about three days ago, we had jet stream flow right into Southern California, actually right through the entire state. And we had overcast, uh, you know, cloudy skies. We had a damp weather up in the, we had a humidity, uh, we had humidity figures up anywhere from 60 to 85 percent uh, for most of the day, for a couple of days. And all that has changed. We can see a developing storm right here, just north of the Hawaiian Islands right here. And we can see some severe uh, thunderstorm development right over the northern islands. Uh, you guys out there, let us know what's going on. Looks like you're getting some rain. Uh, also, this mid and upper level low is no longer listed on the charts on the 500 and 300 millibar chart. Uh, the the uh, this system has been squashed by high pressure. There's no rotation left. And it's also being blockaded by high pressure. It's surrounded by high pressure. The uh, jet stream flow right here is being steered away from this low. And so this thing is basically uh, fizzling out. There's nothing left of it. And we see that right in this area we have a rectangle. We can take a look at that on the infrared map. Actually, let's take a look at it right here in the uh, water vapor map, the western U.S. water vapor map. We can get a better view right here of what's happening. This northeast flow pattern is being prevented from getting into that low, which is uh, basically being squashed out. And so uh, this is isolating this moisture field. We can also see a right angle right here. This is not allowing this uh, area right here, which is uh, outlined by that right angle, is not allowing any of this uh, moisture to get into the Southern California area. And so the jet stream has been rerouted. And I think that this condition is going to remain for several days, and I'll tell you why. Because up here, we have a developing hurricane force storm system. Let's go ahead and look now at the uh, surface analysis map, and we can see that a developing hurricane force system right up here. This is right between uh, 160 and 170 uh, east, right about 165 east, right up here. just right off the tip of the Aleutian Islands. And uh, this is 950 millibar. This is going to be moving to the to the uh, east, right towards the United States. So if we go back to the, uh, the big map and take a look, that storm is really not visible yet, but we can see the outline of a transmitter right up here, which is isolating that low. You can see right here, this is that developing hurricane force storm right up there, dropping down. And uh, so I think that between this developing storm and this right behind it, we're going to see this ridge sitting here for at least a few days. And that's going to mean some very hot temperatures if these terrors continue this pattern. We've got this right angle. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that uh, SSCC map. This is the uh, water vapor map. We can get a better view of that right angle right here, right there, that cutout. And we can see the chemtrails being sprayed over this approaching uh, moisture field. This, this right here would bring cool, damp uh, conditions to uh, Southern California. And yet these are, these are, this is all being stopped. This cool weather is being stopped in late October. And this is not carbon dioxide causing that right angle. 
and it's not smokestack emissions either. Right here in the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop, we can see that in print. So uh, moisture and cool temperatures are being prevented from moving in to California. This low was blocked. This, this low was sitting off of California for about a week, and it's been blocked. During all the fires, we had weather sitting offshore that could have been allowed to move in. So we've got some very evil people. I, 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 can't, I can't stress that enough. I have to do this calmly. But we've got some very evil people uh, controlling our weather. And uh, every day we, we do these videos. That this makes no sense. That this, this weather should be moving east and, and right over California. It's not being allowed to move in. And yet we have these, these people on television. They call themselves meteorologists. That are ignoring, completely ignoring this uh, evidence. These right angles, the chemtrail spraying, the specific timing of the chemtrail spraying, all ignored. Okay, uh, I don't know what else to show you, show everybody, but uh, this is this is what we've got. High temperatures on the menu for tomorrow. Same same. Uh, Pretty much the same temperatures as we saw today, 103, maybe 104. Actually, the, the uh, temperatures have, have warmed up since about uh, 8.30 tonight until now. We're back up at 89 degrees. It had dropped to about 86. But now we've got uh, stronger winds in the uh, foothill areas up here. And, uh, and so, uh, again, I, I say we've got uh, terrorists running our weather. We've got people in charge of our weather that are causing uh, dry conditions. I think that we've got arsonists working in conjunction with these uh, people controlling our weather. Look at right here what's happening. This is transmitter manipulation right here. Right here. Separating this uh, flow pattern from getting into that former low pressure. And that right angle. So we've got a rectangle right here and a right angle over here. Okay, so that's it. We'll do another update later.